Yeah, uh, in the video, the first thing uh, we want to do is drawing an activity on node diagram for our uh, PMP project. So the first thing would be identify the trainer. Uh, the next one is attend training. Then uh, become a PMI member. Then uh, audit the your application processing. Uh, then comes uh, uh, scheduling your exam. Then maybe writing the exam. Uh, so here, uh, let's say this is yeah. This is identified trainer. Uh, and here it is attend training attend training and then comes uh, become a PMI membership uh, then uh, apply for ex apply for exam Uh, then after applying for the exam, uh, the next one would be application processing not by, done by you but by PMI application processing and then schedule exam and And then comes the the right exam. Now here, where will we start the? Okay. Now these are the activities on the nodes, and then they are connected by arrows. Activities are on the nodes, which are connected by arrows. Uh, now, where will I start the self-study? I think after attending the training, I can start the self-study. And yeah, so here, so I'll say self-study. Self-study and then the self-study must get over before writing the exam. So our, our activity on node diagram will look like this. Now for identifying the trainer, uh, let us say uh, we take one day and for attend training we are spending let's say four days. Uh, PMI membership let's say it is one day and apply for exam let's say it is two days and application processing is 15 days and schedule exam let's say it is one day and write exam uh, is one day and self-study is for uh, self-study uh, I think uh, we are talking about 40 hours of self-study so even if we can clock approximately 10 hours uh, per week then we are talking about one week so we are talking about approximately 30 days for this. Uh, so this is our activity on node diagram. Now which one is the critical path? So this path is uh, if I take this horizontal path here 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 15 is 23, 24, 25. So here it is uh, 
Uh, I'm getting here the duration is 25. Uh, that is uh, so uh, the duration for so this duration is 25 now this duration is 25 whereas if you consider this path, 5 plus 30 35 plus 6 so this is 36 Yep, so this is 36, uh, this is 25. So what does it mean? Uh, activities on this path have, so now if you take, if you cut these areas up, because the realism is there, this part is plus 1, 3, 3 plus 15 is 18, this is 19. So this, sorry. Okay, so this, this is 19, whereas this is 30. Now, 30 minus 19 is... Uh, 11. That means, even if I delay the activities by 11 days, the project will not slip. Uh, well study, even if it gets delayed by one day, the project will slip. So here the float is zero. Uh, here the float uh, for the whole until here we have 11 days. Uh, so the vertical path will have zero float. Whereas actually with the north, uh, it has float. Uh, so what is the advantage now? If our self study is delayed, Maybe I can delay the application, apply for examination by easily by maybe 10 to 11 days even, and then use that time on self-study to recover on that slippage, because even then the project will not slip. Uh, so activities on the critical path will have zero float. So here, uh, this is the critical path. Identify trainer, attend self-study, and write the exam. That is a critical path. Whereas these four activities are not on the critical path. So even if we take these by, by cumulatively by 11 days, the project will not slip. Uh, whereas if activities on the critical path slips by, even by one day, the project will slip. So this gives uh, a lot of flexibility for the project manager. We need not give uh, the same priority for all the activities. The activities on the critical path should get maximum priority, whereas the activities which are not on the critical path can wait. Uh, so now uh, let, us, let us try to understand the concept of float uh, a little more. Uh, so here, uh, let us consider uh, one project which has only two activities. So I'm starting the project here, and it has just two activities. So here there is an activity A, which is this duration, and here let's have an activity which is duration five days. And this is the project. Here this project. This is the start. This is the end. Now let's say this is of 10 days duration. And this is of 5 days duration. Uh, now if I start this activity on Day one, day one. If I start this activity on day one, this will get over on day ten. And this, if I start on day one, this will get over on day 
1 plus 5, 6 minus 1, that is 5. This will get over on the fifth day. This, if I start on day 2, this will become 11. That means the project will flip. This necessarily, I have to start on day 1. And complete it on and this must be completed on uh, day 10. So there is no, there, nothing is negotiable there. Now look at this one. If I start this on day 2, this will get over on day 6. Uh, will the part slip? Because this is anyway getting over only on day 10. So if I start it on day 3, what happens? It means 3 plus 5, 8. This will get over on 7th day. No problem. If I start it on 4th day here, uh, this will get over on the eighth day, project will not slip. So this even if I start on day five, what happens? Five by ten is ninth, it is gets over. Project will not slip. So and this if I start on day six, what happens? Six plus five, eleven minus one, ten three this gets over. So here what we are saying is okay for this pro for this activity, uh, here we say uh, early start early start equal to 1, that is the upper one, uh, and early finish is equal to 10, and late start equal to 1, and late finish is equal to 10. Whereas when it comes to this activity, we say early start equal to 1, late start equal to 6 because I can even start it on the 6th day without affecting a slippage in the project and uh, early finish is equal to 5. I can finish off things by 5th day and be happy about it and I can even finish off things on 10th day or anything in between so still I can be happy about it. Uh, now float is equal to late start minus early start or late finish minus early finish. So in this case uh, for, for the for activity 10 days duration float equal to late start was one day it is either 1 minus 1 or uh, late finish, early finish. Uh, that is 10 minus so which has a float. Uh, that is for the activity with 10 days. If you're coming back to this duration, then to uh, let's start minus so day start is so it is either six minus one or it is uh, ten minus five. So in this case, it has a float of uh, five days. Uh, float is also known as uh, uh, slack. Float is also known as uh, slack. Uh, both are same. See, the key things to be remembered here is activities on the critical path will have zero float and activities on the non-critical path will have float uh, and uh, uh, activities with zero float cannot slip. So even if they slip by one day, it will slip and when they can always pull out resources from those tasks which has a float and then deploy them onto the critical path. So I hope you have understood uh, what is what is late start, early start, late finish, early finish, float or slack and even critical path. So if this much is clear, uh, this video has had value.